Hey guys, it's Lonnie from Jeep Extreme. Hey, I am working on a Kubota tractor. It's kind of a change. My dad and I were working on it, and I figured I'd share it because I don't really... I hear that it's easy and everything, and it is easy, but it's still, if you don't know what you're doing, which we honestly really didn't, um, it's kind of tricky. Uh, so... And it's kind of challenging because you're scared about breaking parts or whatever, and you don't want to break them. I mean, let's face it, you don't want to spend $700 replace, replacing a piece on the front of your tractor. This is a Capota. Yeah, L4200. It, we're replacing the seal, which I couldn't find any place to get the seal. Uh, I looked all over the place trying to find it. Um, pretty much had to get it from Kubota, 75 bucks just for a stupid seal. Uh, the seal fits around here um, and seats up in there, you know. Well, actually seats down into the other piece, as you'll see, I'll show it to you. Um, you don't have to take this piece off. However, it helps to take that off because uh, of the weight. Um, and if you really don't know what you're doing, but uh, it's pretty simple, and I want to go over it with you guys. So, front seal, they're notorious for leaking up here, um, out the top, and getting water in there and rusting and causing problems. So what we did is, I'll show you. We got to clean this all up because it's pretty bad shape on the inside as far as the oil is kind of greasy instead of oily when this slides up onto that first thing you're going to do you're going to pull the cap off the bottom all right well first you're going to drain the oil uh, which your drain plugs are where the crap was it on the side of Well, yeah, right there. The drain plug's there. And if you got it tilted up on one side and you want to change the oil out on that side, just remember, uh, if you thought it was empty, you're wrong because it's uh, tilted that way. So, anyhow, what you're going to do is drain the oil, pull this bottom seal out. Oil will come out of there because it's sitting down in the bottom, just a little bit of it. So, um once you do that, you're going to have a C-clamp C uh, clip at the bottom, a uh, C-clip. You're going to take some C-clip pliers, pop that C-clip out. This is the C-clip that you'll pop out of there. All right. Or, yeah. This C-clip here. Then you'll have a spacer that will be there. And... You'll have this shaft, which has splines on it, and a gear, and a bearing. This whole piece. Alright, to get this piece out of here, take a brass, or it will be up in here, but you'll be looking at it from over here. So, let's try to explain this. You'll take a punch and punch that gear piece right there because it's the bearings on the other side once you remove that c-clamp the bearing is right there and this is there so you'll punch the gear or the the edge of that bearing if you can get it well i'd say just punch the gear that's what we did really carefully and it should come out now it should come out just to take your time once it once it pops out of there and slides out make sure you're holding it you know at the bottom it comes off all right once that comes off you'll look up inside here again at the bottom up through you know that up through this up in the bottom and you'll see another c clamp or clip you'll go ahead you'll take your C-clip pliers, 
you'll pop that C-clip off. Once you pop that C-clip off, you can take the whole assembly off. That's where we ran into problems because it didn't just fall off like a lot of people say they do. Ours was stuck on there. So, you'll want to take a... Uh, what we did was take a flathead and we went around this edge rim right here between here as it seats up right up in here and we just kind of pried it real slow and just worked it really slow don't work it heavy because you sure as heck don't want to bust this rim off but just pry it and just give it a little bit of a tug and work yourself around there and it will come off okay and it and you can try to go ahead and hammer or use a uh, rubber mallet or whatever and maybe yours will come off easier and just hit the actual top of the casing and it might come off but just keep in mind uh, don't let your casing fall on the floor because that would really suck if it broke apart I'm kind of out of my realm because I've not worked on tractors or anything and maybe by this video some of you guys will know that but this is uh, different for me pretty simple I mean really simple to be honest but just kind of nerve-wracking at the same time okay so once you got this piece off you'll take it to the bench <sighs> And you'll have a seal up in there, and it's steel on the outside. And I sprayed a little bit of uh, WD or whatever around the edge of that seal that went in there, which was this seal right here. It's corroded and rusted in there, and you'll just pry it out. My suggestion on that, don't pry around the edge of this thin wall try prying in this area where it's thicker right here towards the seal because you don't want to scrape up this and once you do that uh, towards the edge of the seal uh, on this edge pry it out get it out clean it all up reassembly is basically the opposite and it should go together fine for you any questions I'll give answers uh, if you guys have any questions like I said, the seal is um, pretty mangled up, so keep that in mind. Pay attention, but uh, that's all, guys. I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on There was no really good video showing exactly the steps. I saw the steps written on uh, forums, different things like that, but it's sketchy, so... Uh, cast is one of those things you just don't want to be hammering on, <laughs> you know, much, uh, especially thin wall cast. So thanks for watching my videos, guys. I hope I helped somebody out with a Kubota tractor. Um, most of all the Kubotas are about the same setup from what I've read. So, uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to wash everything out with diesel, clean it all up. Put the new seal in once we use some uh, uh, some fine uh, you know grit or something to clean off the inside. Put it all back together and good to go. All right, guys, take care and uh, don't sell your Jeep.